Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Child of the King, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. My bride, Elizabeth, and I were having a conversation the other day reviewing the blessings of our life. I happened to let a personalized version of Psalm 8 leak out of my brain, which tumbled out of my mouth. I said, I often think it just doesn't make sense. What's so special about me that God has showered so many blessings on my life? As soon as I heard what I was saying, the floodgate of thoughts burst through the control panels at the dam. It really isn't that I'm that special. But there is a God who is special, indescribable, loving, and willing to lavish life and strength on those he claims as his own. It's nothing I've done or refrained from doing. It just goes along with the territory of being his kid. The song I heard many years ago by Bill Gaither's group remains married in my brain to this thought of Psalm 8. Listen to the words. Once I was clothed in the rags of my sin, wretched and poor, lost and lonely within. But with wondrous compassion, the king of all kings, in pity and love, took me under his wings. Oh yes, oh yes, I'm a child of the king. His royal blood now flows in my veins. And I who was wretched and poor now can sing, Praise God, praise God, I'm a child of the King. So, the answer to that age-old question of the psalmist about why God would even think about humankind, let alone bathe us in showers of blessing, is simple as well as amazing and humbling. What king wouldn't love and bless his child? For you today, if you cannot sing along with Gaither that his royal blood now flows in my veins because you've never invited his son Jesus to be your brother, you can do that this very moment. It's the best and only thing God has ever been waiting for you to do. He loves you that much. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.